Well, hey, I wanted to tell you something today. I was thinking about it on the bike ride, how to explain it. And really, there's no real good way to explain it. But I'm not the only one saying this. A lot of other people are saying it, have been saying it for years. I've been seeing it and understanding it for quite a few years myself. But um, what what is happening with Elon Musk is he's crossed the line. Uh, when certain people cross certain lines, they get shut down and they get taken out of the game and uh, either replaced let me tell you this Stephen Hawkins the, he, he passed away but he's already been out of the picture a long time ago um, they did the same thing to him and kept him alive no one else had had that disease that he had ever lived as long as he did so that very first uh, decade of his life after he was bound in a wheelchair that might have been uh, the real Stephen Hawkins now we'll be saying this 20 years from now about Ian, Lo Ian Musk y'all remember when Ian Musk was Ian Musk and then all of a sudden he changed or, you, or you'll be saying, do you remember when Ian Musk killed himself, had a horrible accident, went up in one of his rockets and it blew up? Whatever they're going to do, it's going to be dramatic. You can believe that. But I'm going to tell you the reason is. He knows this is a, a base reality, a simulation, a holographic world. Not only does he know it, He's proved it. He proved it to himself. Literally, he knows that this world is hackable. I know it's hackable. We start hacking it with our bodies and our minds first, and then we can hack it in in three dimensions and move our our bodies and our minds into alternative realities. Uh, they can be physical and they can be for individuals or they can be for the collective. The collective has seemed to have jumped uh, maybe two times. Laura was, was saying that she believes it's two times and we could be jumping again here pretty soon. This world is not what we've been told and people the people that we see in the world, the billions and so-called billions and billions of people, they're not real. Now, a lot of people get pissed off at me. Even Laura gets pissed off at me when I say that people are not real. She says, you're real, buddy. You, you're going to ride your bicycle in, a, in front of a car. You're going to really get hit. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is there's really nobody here except one one being that is fragmented and most of us that are awakened are that being and we have a circle of people around us now they're as real as we are but even they're subject to jump in and out of your lives and you, you can't be attached to anything Anything of this reality is, is an illusion, is a trap. And the way that the power structure works is they are, all these people are under a type of mind control. Rose, Roseanne Barr was saying it. She said it. Many other people have said it. Joe Rogan has said it. Sam Harrison has said it. Bill Hicks. The comedian Bill Hicks, he told us what this reality was. It's one big ride. We're supposed to have fun while we're here. But when people get their toys taken away or their love taken away, they, they go bad. They go sour. 
they go self-sabotaging their life and their bodies. I did the opposite. I quickened my DNA and my cells to regenerate. That's what they don't want us to know. But back to Elon, Elon Musk. Evidently, Elon Musk has proven the singularity to himself. He's proven that the world is a simulation. He's proven, I believe, that the world that we are inhabiting right now, even though it's a simulation, it has patterns. It'll blink on and it'll blink off. And we as individuals, we blink on and we blink off. But I think he's actually seen the reality that we've jumped to this last time in some type of simulation of a computer program maybe that he even invented but whatever it is it showed him that the world is flat that it has no curve and that that's enough right there for him not to be able to reach the mass audiences that he was so how they're going to take him out i don't know they'll replace him with a clone and people say, well, buddy, there ain't no clones. I've been saying for years and years and years there were clones. And I'd go to meetings, and it was spiritually awakened, conscious beings. And if I spoke that, they just, they just couldn't handle it. They just couldn't handle that uh, people aren't real people. They're not. They're not real. Now, if we in, inhabit Ian Musk reality, and we can see that, and keep our eyes on him, and we can see the change, the shift that's going to happen to the storyline. They're going to destroy him, it looks like. Uh, they're going to, I don't know, they're going to make him shut up. That's one, one damn thing they're good at. And when I say they, I'm talking about the, the, the puppet masters. I'm talking about the people behind the puppet masters. I'm talking about a group of creator gods that inhabit this planet in multiple dimensions. Uh, they're dimensional beings, and they can be physical, they can be uh, non-physical, they can be big, small, but whatever they are, we're that too. Whatever power they have, we have. And see, once Ian Musk was to catch on to that, then all of a sudden he would tell everybody who we are and what we are, and we could get on about waking up the collective consciousness that's being used against us by the, the Creator gods. Now, if you stuck with me this long, I'm going to tell you this. I'm shut down on all my social media. They got it like I'm, you can see it, but ain't nobody else see it. Why is that? And it's been that way ever since I got on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. It's been that way. Why is it they know who I am? They know that their mind control don't work on me. They know that their uh, EMP weapon uh, targeted individuals doesn't work on me they know I haven't been sick since 2003 literally I have not been sick since 2003 since I woke up I told that story before about how I had migraine headaches all my life before 2003 August the 17th but when I woke up I was shown in a vision and in a download that I couldn't have migraine headaches because I was in a body. And my headaches went away forever. I never have a headache since then. And I haven't been sick. Now I will occasionally have symptoms of, of, of the onset of like a cold or something, but I have the ability to break it off, shuffle it off so easy. It's, uh, Laura knows me since quite a while 
I, she knows that since she's been with me, let's say eight years, she knows that I've only been sick where I, I felt bad for two days before my body was able to totally break it off. Well, that's what, that is the information and the actual knowledge that they don't want me to ever be able to tell anyone and have a, a audience where people can hear me because it would change the world. It would change everything that we know about the world. And I'm not the only one that's shut down. Anybody else that has really understood who I am and what I am, they know. And they're shut down. So if you stayed on this video this long, how can you purposely change your life? What can you do to help get this conscious message out? Well, if you're a YouTuber and you got hundreds and hundreds of thousands of subscribers, wow. Are, are you making videos that are enlightening people and waking them up, or are you just having fun? I don't know. I don't even know why I do it. Nobody can see this. Nobody will, unless I get some kind of supernatural help from people like you that stayed this long to watch this video, come up with a, a way to remix it, come up with a way to, it's in Creative Commons, I'm giving it to the world. You can, you can upload the whole thing, you can remix it, pieces. You can take what I'm saying and study it for yourself and then tell people. I don't need the credit. I am the credit. I don't need people to see me. I'm not doing it for fame or notoriety. I'm doing it because it's the right thing to do. All right. I've said too much. I got to go. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching my channel. Hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Same old, same old. Oh, did I say it's a beautiful day? Yep. Yeah.